All right, you guys, we're gonna do a ab work um, with the resistible. So um, <clears throat> when you're on the resistible, make sure that your knees are straight out in front of your hips. You don't want them really above your knees. Uh, this ball isn't really super blown up, but the less blown up, the more balanced you kind of have because um, there's more surface area touching the floor. The more blown up, the harder it is. So let's just begin warming up. So let's take our hands on our hips. Just do a couple of tailbone uh, tilt backs, pelvic warm up. So tilt your tailbone back. Just feel that muscle kick in, your spinal erector. And then tuck the tailbone under. So a little posterior tilt. So that's the tilt you need to come down on top of the ball. We'll do it a few more times. Tilt back, tuck under. And one more. And under and then we'll go side to side so press your right sits bone down hike your left hip up working a little obliques there just warming up all of our muscles in our core so it's not just the front side we're gonna be working the back side too so two more each way and one more Let's just take a couple of side bends to the right, pull the ribs to the hips as you come out. So think of focusing on the core, all these muscles in there. One more each way. Keep both arms up. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, rotate left side. So now let's start to get those shoulder blades connected into the core. Get some rotations. Different obliques here, kicking in, and then release. So we'll start off just sitting on the ball. Um, go ahead and take your ball to the edge of your mat because we'll come down on top into um, bridge work, work some back and some glutes and stuff. So from here, let's just go ahead and tuck the tailbone under and walk yourself out on top of that ball. So just so that your lower back is kind of protected on that top curve. Inhale, and then as you, um, actually you're gonna lower down. As you exhale, you're gonna come up. So exhale, extend all the way up and down. And lift. So this is just full spinal flexion. Really think of pulling the ribs down into the hips. Squeeze it up. Kind of warm it up here. Let's do a few more. Then we're just going to change the positioning of our arms. So that's just going to pull on our spine a little differently by just moving the arms in different places. So let's go ahead and cross the arms here. All that's doing is really now we're just kind of lifting the arms up with our ribs. So we're just adding a little bit more weight. The arms out kind of helps you come up because there's weight on the other side. This is really, really small movement here. Exhale as you come up. So just notice how that feels, and we're just going to start changing up the arms a little bit. Let's do two more. One more. All right. Right arm up, left arm down. Let's do eight right here. Eight. One more, three, two, switch it up. Make sure that you're feeling this in your abs, your rectus abdominis, the muscle that does, it's your six pack, the one that does spinal flexion, not in your lower back. Four more, four, three, Two. Try to keep the arm by your ear. All right, both arms. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. 
and then eight out to the side. So arms are just out to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more. <clears throat> so we're gonna take our left hand over to our right hand as we come up. So a little oblique. So you're gonna come down, left over to right, come down, eight right here, seven, Two, eight over to the other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. And then back to your eight right here in front, eight, or arms here, or arms up, seven, Two, one more. To make it harder or easier, you can always walk the ball, walk yourself back to make more more lever length, or drop your hips to make it easier for more support on your back. However, we're gonna walk it out into a bridge pose. So you want your shoulders to be on top of the curve of that ball, and your head to be on top so that your nose and chin are looking straight up and not off the ball here. So drive your shoulder blades down and lift up. So the whole back side's working. So from here, we're just gonna drop the hips and then squeeze them back up. Drop and squeeze. Keep going, we're gonna do five more, then pulse it at the top. Five, four, Three, two, one more. Now stay up there and pulse, squeeze, squeeze. So just squeezing the whole time with just a quick little release. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay with those drops, just lift your toes, 10. So going back to full range, six, we'll do the same thing, same, same set, four, then we'll do pulses at the top, three, keep the toes lifted, you're just on your heels, two, so stay up here and pulse it, squeeze, squeeze. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Take your feet down, place your toes where your heels were. Now lift off your heels, same deal. 10 here, and we'll pulse it. Eight, seven, six. Keep those shoulder blades engaged. Four, three, Two, one more. Now stay up there and pulse, squeeze. Eight more, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. So drop your hips down. We're gonna roll back up on top of that ball. Let's go ahead and come all the way up just in case you need to reset. And then we're gonna bring it back down again and do a little bit more of, a, um, of ab work, but we're gonna add our hips, so a little hip flexion. So tuck your tailbone under, come all the way down. This time you can go ahead and take your hands behind your head, give your head a little bit of support. So we're just gonna balance, lift your right heel up, and then balance, lift your left heel up. Now position yourself somewhere either on top of that ball, so Put your feet down. This is gonna make it harder the more on top you are, or maybe more in front, tailbone a little bit more in front. So from here, just march it out. So 
right and left, balance yourself, and left. So the head's just relaxing into your hands. We're not pulling on that neck. Four more, four, and then we'll add a curl. Three, two, oh, and then add a curl. Eight here. Four more, four, and four, three, and three. One more, then we're going to stay on that right side. So stay on your right side, in and out, in and out, eight right here, seven, six, five, four, whoa, three, Two, and one, now left elbow to right knee, so squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we're going to do ten, nine, <laughs> and ten, I don't normally do this without shoes on, I'm wondering, that's why I'm so wobbly, so left leg, Eight here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ten. Right elbow to left knee. Two, woo, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we need to work on that. Arms out in front, bring it all the way back up. We're gonna go ho go ahead and come off that ball. Come around to our knees. We'll roll it in and out. So coming down to your knees, we'll come out. Bring our forearms forearms on the ball. Make sure you're. Palms are parallel, forearms parallel to each other. You're gonna roll it out. Don't let the body touch the ball. Press down and roll back up. So try that a couple more times. Get that ball adjusted. That feels good. So the further out you go, the more challenging it is. Making sure that your back doesn't hammock down. You wanna keep it nice and strong, kind of using your lats, your back muscles, as well as the front as you press down and pull up. All right, here we go. Let's bring it out and up, out and up, out. Four more, then we're gonna hold it out there. Four, three, two, Hold it out there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Still hold it. We're just going to roll that ball out and in. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep going. We're going to do circles. So circle it right, two, we'll do eight, and then eight to the left, four, feel all those five muscles working, six, seven, eight, to the left, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, that's the mark. So a little tr transverse abdominus there. Go ahead, sit back into your heels, stretch it out. So palms together, let your ribs drop down towards your thighs. And then 
we'll go ahead and come on up and kind of work the sides of the bodies a little bit. So we'll take um, our arm over the ball and the ribs. So kind of like you're hugging the ball, just make sure that this guy doesn't hurt. And then your bottom hips are usually kind of want to fall down. What you're going to do is lift them up as high as you can and then let it go down. Okay. So we'll take that top hand on the hip. So lift and lower, squeeze right here and lower. So you're just kind of squeezing the ribs down to the hip and lower. Four more. Three. Two, last one. Now take it up there, hold it up there, add that top leg. Stay here, isometric here, and then just lift and lower the leg. So again, you can kind of feel a little, a uh, little tiny bit working through here. Make sure the leg's behind you. We do eight of these. Seven, six, Now roll it all the way up, switch sides. And roll it out under the ribs, enough space so that your hips can drop down and squeeze. So feel that, here we go. Lower and lift, lower and lift. And squeeze, four more. Lower and squeeze. Two more. Now hold it up there. Grab that top leg, extend it, and drop. Eight right here. Eight. Seven. Keep lifting those that rib up. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good work, you guys. We'll just go ahead and thread the needle, stretch it out there. So, and then just both sides. And let's head onto the heels. Roll the ball off to the side and then to the other side. All right. We'll do one more. We'll come down on our back. And we're just gonna pass the ball between our feet and hands. So just final roll down, one vertebrae at a time. Take the ball between your feet and then lower down and then lift up and switch. One, we're doing eight. And then we're done. Two, Three, four, halfway there. Don't let your rib cage come up off that mat. I can feel mine coming up. Don't let it come up. Two more. Last one. I need these workouts and then go ahead and um, stretch out so just reach the ball overhead stretch it out between your fingertips and toes now you can lift your let your ribs come up off the ball just reach through your heels through your fingertips roll over onto your side let's go ahead and do a little cobra on the ball roll the ball into the hips tuck your toes under and then straighten your legs, rolling your hips on top of the ball, drawing your shoulder blades down, straightening those legs if you can. Inhale, and then exhale, release over the ball. All right, hopefully you guys can have some fun with that.